My area of responsibility at the U of M mainly are in the business school. Uh, I'm in the business economics group, um, and currently I'm the chair of the, of the group. My PhD is in economics, and when I started grad school, I didn't have a clear idea of what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to work on public policy. Um, at the time that I was in school, healthcare reform sort of moved to the top of the policy agenda, and that's where it stayed. And I think in healthcare, there's so many ways that public policy uh, affects our lives and affects markets and, and affects firms. Um, so there's lots of interesting questions um, and, and lots of, of relevance to the work. Some of the collaboration that we're doing here at HPI, a lot of it has to do right now with the Healthy Michigan Plan, which is Michigan's version of the Medicaid expansion. We'll be doing the official evaluation of this program uh, for CMS, and um, my piece of the project in particular focuses on health insurance coverage expansions, can we track how many people are gaining coverage, and then looking at what that coverage expansion means for hospitals. In particular, um, do we see a reduction in the burden of uncompensated care for Michigan hospitals? We hope that our work is going to have impact in a couple of ways. Um, one is on, on policy per se, um, and working with the state hopefully will help them understand how the Healthy Michigan Plan is working, um, how maybe we can improve it, uh, what we can do in terms of policy going forward. We also hope to inform the, the academic community and the broader policy community. Um, one thing about the way uh, health policy works in the U.S. is that there's a lot of variation across states, and that's certainly true with, with health care reform. Um, and so what we learned from Michigan uh, can inform discussions in other states and, and nationally about what works, uh, what can be improved, and, and what do we know. I think in terms of health care policy, there are two main uh, challenges we face today. Um, one has to do with access making sure that everybody has access to appropriate care, and the other has to do with cost. We need to be able to provide this care efficiently if we're going to be able to afford it. Um, so that's the main goals of health care reform. I think that's a lot of the uh, motivation behind my research and some of the research here at IHPI. Even before IHPI existed, uh, the University of Michigan was known for being very strong in health policy and health services research. We've got people doing this kind of work in all units of campus, not just the medical school and the School of Public Health, uh, but the business school, economics department, Institute for Social Research. People have been doing this for a long time. There's also been a strong tradition here at Michigan of collaboration, uh, interdisciplinary research. So IHPI really grows out of that tradition and that culture. The Institute is sort of a catalyst. Um, it brings together people that were already working on this stuff and helps them form new collaborations, uh, new ways of working together, um, and provides sort of support to uh, do more than we were doing previously. It seemed like a perfect uh, fit with my interests and my background, um, and when I was asked to be on the institutional leadership team, um, I jumped at the chance. IHPI is going to play a, a big role uh, going forward in terms of healthcare policy, both nationally uh, and the state of Michigan. We're in a period of, of dramatic change, and there's a lot of uncertainty. It's not clear how all these things are going to sort out. Um, I think we are seeing coverage expanding. Uh, we are seeing improvements in, in people getting access to care. Um, and I think the, the early indicators on the Affordable Care Act are, are overall pretty promising. Um, it's going to be a while before we see exactly how it works out, exactly what insurance markets look like. So I think people are going to be studying uh, the implications and the impact of the Affordable Care Act for a long time, and hopefully that will uh, help the state craft the policy and, and refine policy over time.